My, 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 what interesting times we live in. But before we get more into that, let's just take a small look around the globe. You can kind of see how Scotland's doing well. Ireland's slowly forming. And England is just a hodgepodge of stuff. If you look up in the north, Norriger. They're getting kind of big as the Swift Jod. So is Koala Land remains the same. Uh, Western France remains in civil war. It's changed some where they are. His poor little queen, Bond, tries to defend her territory. Apparently, the civil war in the Holy Roman Empire is over. King Leopold somehow survived and won, probably with his help help with his friend, um, the King of Italy, which is, I think, was that guy's dad. Yeah, it was Raymond, Raimundo Mondo. Asterius continues to um, push into Spain, trying to drive the Muslims up out, I take it. Maybe there's a revolt down there. Byzantine Empire seems to be doing pretty well. Here, well, they're strong. They had 12,000. How many does these guys have? 18,000. God, they're so strong compared to us. And we're in a precarious position. I mean, we're okay size-wise, but... Let's see, we have our retinue trying to get back across the plains. I should say the steppes of Asia. We are trying to take the holy site here. Last episode, we took this holy site, we put a man in charge of it so that we have more Tingri, more authority. The problem is, um, at the same time, we have a faction of dickwads that want independence. They're up to 90% of strength. That's a problem. So drastic times call for drastic actions. And Drizlov's like, you're not going to take this from me. Luckily, the guy who's the leader of the independence movement, Chief Bonek, it's kind of like Boner, who lives out here, nobody likes him. Lots of people hate him, I should say. So we have just started a plot to try and get him to killed and look at all the people that want to join. How many people hate him that want to remove him? And removing him helps us. That gets rid of one of the people who really wants there to be um, a rebellion we do not want an independence rebellion we just want to take this last holy site my co-conspirator chief Basimer, has procured a poisonous viper and sends word that it will soon dig its fangs into high chief bonek excellent excellent that's amazing look at that plot power 310 percent everybody hates this guy hopefully his kid still likes us afterwards i'm sorry i'm gonna kill your dad but your dad's kind of a douche Sorry, you know, it happens. Eh. Someone wants lower crown authority. Someone wants Chief Vladislav for Croatia. Can I can I arrest you? Nope, oh, those are the guys I have like evidence on that I can arrest for things. We are at 81% in our war score with Georgia. I thought their allies would help them more. I'm glad I was wrong on that. So we are sieging them right here. I should do more close-ups. What did we lose? Success! The snake performed its duty with a plume and pumped the high chief bonek full of his deadly venom. Unfortunately, the serpent was caught and the sealers revealed my complicity. Good. Good. Guess what, everybody? I'm a known murderer. You don't like it? I will murder you too. They're like, that's not the way you do intrigue. He's like, I am chief... King Drizlov, I'll do it the way I want. Well, the independence faction's a little weaker now, isn't it? Oh, you don't like the liege? Why don't we murder you too? Drizlov's kind of grown mad with power. Where is our retinue? Like, literally, where is it? Somewhere in this land. Oh, there it is. We will send you over here to reclaim our land that someone's attacking. Let's see how our other intrigue plot's going. Drizlov has had enough. He's like, you know what? I've been your friend. I've done it the nice way. Now we can do it the not nice way. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, that guy who died, I think he controls this area here. Wait, that's your dad, right? Is that the guy we killed? No, he was the nice one. Did we kill... Oh, we killed your brother! 
We killed your brother and you took over, and you hate us too. What if I give you an honorary title? What if I send you a gift? It's not worth it. Probably a bad idea to kill all these guys, but I am just sick of these dickwads. Oh, come on. We're so close to ending this war with Georgia, getting us the last holy site. My co-conspirator, Chief Kirill, has hired someone to saw through the supports of a railing on a balcony. High Chief Yezale uh, is known to frequent. Someone may soon take a bit of a tumble. Oh, look out below. That's what you're going to get. You're going to die. Your little kid who hates me might take over, but whatever. He's even easier to throw off of a castle. What territory do you own? My wife, Queen Helby, has asked me to get rid of one of my courtiers who she f my finds mighty annoying. On one hand, Helby might not be happy if I raise a request, but if I fire the annoying man, people will feel my wife has too much influence on me. No, no, no. I am not... No, that is Shaman Dan. He makes people disappear. He's killed at least one or two or three of my spy masters. You know, honey, sometimes you should... I love you, and you're hot and all, but sometimes... You have the lover's pox. You cheated on me, you cunt. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to you. Great. Oh, I, at least I didn't pick wrong. And have Shaman Dan fuck me up. That would have been problematic, to say the least. Alright, we are at 82% more score. So close on this one. That's going to drop any second now. And we will take the castle there, and then we can siege the town. How is the dangerous faction? Oh, somebody bit the dust. Oh, fuck. How did the Independence Faction get so many people in it so fast? Like, seriously, game, what the fuck? Alright, we need a new Chancellor. We will make you the new Chancellor. We will have you improve diplomatic relations with... Fabricate claims, so dissent. Honestly, I don't know what to have you do right now, bro. Fabricate claims on... There isn't anything we really need. Here, just pick a spot and fabricate claims. Good enough. We are fucked now that... I don't know what happened, but that hugely increased. Why do you want to be independent, dude? Like, that doesn't... Maybe I'm missing something, but that doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. Because I'm a known murderer? Well, I'm going to murder you too. How do you feel about that? Well, there's less reason to murder this guy. That means we're about to have a giant civil war. Victory! I don't know where the victory was. Oh, it must have been right here. We're getting close. Just let me end this war with Georgia first. Failure! High Chief Yezalev discovered the sabotage that had been done in the railing. At least he is clueless as who's to blame for this. No, we will... We'll take that as a sign from the Great Goose God. I am furious right now, though. I am absolutely furious. We have gone through so much work to make these people happy. And look at all these assholes that want to revolt. We're going to arrest this guy. My guards failed to capture the chief. He's in rebellion now. These people need to learn some discipline. Where is he? Right there? Fair enough. I want to send troops to go fight you! But I think we actually need to continue the other war. I'm just mad at these guys. I'm like, fine, get out of my kingdom. Someone's like, oh, I'll help you kill that guy. No, no, no. We quit with that plot, dude. No. Peace be with you. An intriguing scheme. I believe I'll indeed back your plot. What? No. No, don't back my plot. My bad. No. We don't want to kill that guy anymore. I hit the wrong button. You know what, Retinue? You better come back here. If we're going to have a civil war soon... 
We're going to need you, so we'll just send you back to the heart of the kingdom. Certainly having some issues with internal security and internal happiness. Everybody used to love the king. You murder one guy. The, people were already become jerks before that. Angelo, a preacher in the service of the Pope, insidious, insidious? The second has arrived in Sofia to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for our old faith, declaring it sinful, and has explained in detail the horrors we shall suffer in the afterlife unless we mend our ways. Sorry, dude, no. Tangri. We did not work this hard to give up on Tangri the Goose God. Uh, you better come back this way and defend this territory just in case. Because they got a pretty sizable army there. We are at 89% war score. At least that's dropped to 109. Uh, talk about pains of the ass. Who else can we arrest? Defeat. Uh, we got to get over there with more troops. Man, being king is tough. At least our retinue is finally back. Well, more or less back. Victory! We are at 98%. We are almost there. How much longer for this place? That is going to be a while, unfortunately. Months. How about here? The bishopric? That we're getting much closer on. And luckily... Some of our local counts, that's like the gray in there, I believe, who are loyal to us. I don't even know where he's from. They, I believe they are fighting these asshole rebels. We're almost there. Gold pours from my hands, but never finds its way back. The numbers and sluts? I can't read that because auto save is in the way. The numbers and sums make no sense. Twirling numbers mocking me every... Mocking me up here every time I close my eyes. My wife, Helby, has offered to help me, but I refuse every time she does. No, I... Hmm. I could take her help. I... I honestly think I'm going to take her help. If she's good at numbers, let her. I'm perfectly happy with the thing, way things are. I'm a content. Well, it sucks he's not ambitious anymore. At least, hopefully, they got the numbers under control. Alright, how close are we on these things? That's going to be a little less than a month. We are almost there. In fact, let's send the retinue back. Words reach me that an ambitious adventurer, Vazul, is gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory. People keep saying that. Where are you from, dude? Wait... Aren't you... Don't you... Aren't you the guy I'm fighting? Whatever. So many wars, you can't keep track of them all nowadays, you know what I mean? I'm sure you all understand as you're fighting your own wars. Uh, though I had thought Prince Impo to be a more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival was highly erratic. No, son, you are not killing anybody. No. Let's see, our son is ill and proud. It's You better not die. You We groomed you. We groomed you to be king. Otherwise, Earl's going to be king. Oh, Earl's gotten good numbers. Well, either way. <laughs> like, Dad? <laughs> what? Victory! The siege of Kimerson, or Kimmer... Kimmerson worked either way. Behold, right here, the Stingus owns it. Let us end the war. King Drizzle of the Unready has usurped the title County of Vitil. How is he the Unready? He's been a great king. And we have taken that holy site. But, even if it makes people mad. Oh, he's in prison? Wait, am I looking at the, I was I was looking at the wrong place. He's a bishop. But we don't want that. We want... We're at 45. Wait, which one is this? That one. 
Wait, can we just reform the religion as it is because they're all Tangri? No, because one of them, this one is under control of our kinsmen. I really don't want to attack him for that. We could. It wouldn't be that hard of a war. But he's really been good to us. Seems like a dick move. I think we can get that extra 5% because we need, if we look at that, at least a 50% more authority in three of the holy sites, or all five of the holy sites. If we take this guy out of the holy site and put another guy in there, like he's a bishop. If we take the orthodox guy out in there and put a Tengri shaman in there, I believe that'll turn this flag green, and I believe instead of partial control, we should have full control. So we're going to go find this guy. We are going to revoke his title, even at the risk of pissing off people and starting a rebellion. Because this is more important. We have worked all this time. And we're going to bring these other guys back home. We have worked all this time, even at the risk of the kingdom, to reform the faith. Yes, yes. Get back to me, Bishop Isis, that you're, you're going to give up your territory. My liege, my work in Tana seems to... No, I don't want that. We'll take the piety. He's like, I've got a claim on wherever you sent me. I'm like, I just sent you away because you're weird. He's like, what? May you live in harmony. I humbly accept your decision to revoke the bishopric of Sesquian, though it grieves me deeply. And right now, we are forming... We are acting as the bishop of that place. And you know what that means? Finally, the dream of our great... Or our grandfather, Dongerson the Scholar, who I believe was the one who had the Necronomicon, eventually became a lunatic, but figured out his own version of Tengrianism. It can happen now. Finally, we can reform the faith. The Tengri Reformation. The ancient Tengri religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross on the moon. It's true. Catholics everywhere. Rather than abandoning the old ways, King Drislav of Croatia and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Tengri faith. With codified rites, a holy scripture, and a strict church hierarchy, hierarchy under a single leader, they hope that the reformed Tengri faith is better armed to fight back against the weak and effeminate foreign beliefs. Yeah, you girls. For Tengri! We did it! I don't know who this dweeb is. He's one of my vassals, and that... Look, the... Moral authority of the church is 59.3 now. That is huge. We can pick a new ambition. I don't know what we can pick. Become a paragon of virtue, I guess. I would feel like we should be already. And we've done it. He has lived out his grandfather's wishes of reforming the Tangri faith. There might be some here serious um, repercussions there when it comes to <laughs> independence factions. I, I, I gotta be honest. But after all that time and all that work, he, he's done it. We're going to take the holy temple here, the holy tent. We're going to give it to someone. You, sir, Shaman Dominic, you are the defender of the holy site. And while we're at it, we might as well give um, Itil to someone so we're not over the limit. What about you, Boris? Now, how about this guy? He's got a. Oh, no, he's already got territory. Whoa! Where'd everybody else go? Don't tell me that means there's like a rebellion? How about this guy? You want it? You can have a till. Sweet! We've got a serious problem though with this soon to happen rebellion. But we're reformed Tengri. Let's look at what reformed Tengri is. The reformed Tengri faith has a holy book written in the Orkhan runic script, a standardized liturgy, and a formal church hierarchy led by the high priest of Tengri who can be vassalized by secular rulers. He's our vassal. The high priest can call for a great holy war. Priest temple holders can inherit titles. Priests can get married. Rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot. Tengri men can take up to three concubines. I think that alone should make everybody love us. I'm like, everybody, you can get concubines. There's always a high priest, landed or not, inferior at conversion and vulnerable to non-pagan missionaries. We were already, though. Rulers cannot declare holy wars. That's all right. Uh, women 
may hold spy master positions. Actually, that's not bad if we marry someone like Drizlov probably won't, but if one of his descendants marries somebody who would be great as a spy master. Well, that's one awesome problem solved and a huge one to deal with next as we have to deal with all these people that want to rebel. Even this guy, 83, he loves us. He absolutely loves us, but he wants to rebel. Man, these people are pain in the ass. It's pretty cool, though, that we reform the religion. Next time, we'll see if the great Tangry Goose God blesses us for these changes or if we are punished for being stupid. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'll see you all next time.